let's go on a road trip to Vermont. Hey guys, I'm JQ Louise. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking our 2021 Tesla Model Y on a road trip from Boston to Vermont. Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe. If you're interested in Tesla content, we're sharing our entire Tesla ownership experience, everything from delivery day to installing accessories to going on road trips. So let's get started. Okay, so we are starting with 67%. And we're probably gonna charge to walk away because it's estimating we'd arrive at the hotel with 9%, but it's pretty chilly today. And I think as we get closer to Vermont, it's going to get even colder. So I'm sure the range will drop a little bit faster. So we're planning on charging along the way. So we'll probably have more range when we actually arrive at the hotel. All right, so range update. We've been driving for a little while. We're now at 56% and we're going to supercharge at the Brattleboro, Vermont supercharger, which is pretty close to our hotel. So we'll be almost there by the time we actually charge, which will be great. So we'll have plenty of range for the weekend. Um, so it is pretty chilly out. You can see it says it's 36 degrees out. It did get a lot chillier like I thought. Um, and where we're headed in Vermont is pretty far from Boston because it's a lot of, you know, non-highways once we get closer to the hotel. So we still have a little bit of ways to go, but we'll keep you guys posted. Okay, let's do another range update. So now we're at 38%. And as you can see, we're actually doing great for what's the expected range when we get to the supercharger. So if you notice, we have our climate is turned off. I just turned my seat heater on for a little bit because it is it was getting a little bit chilly, but it's pretty comfortable in here. We had the climate turned on for a little bit, but we're trying not to use it to see how it affects the range. And as you can see on here, we're doing great. I mean, it's funny, this low tire pressure thing is still on there. Um, you know, obviously driving is the main thing. Climate took a tiny bit. Um, battery conditioning, elevation, and everything else. So overall, we're doing pretty good and we should beat the supercharger soon. Um, but if you go on here, you can see this is from, um, you know, more of our trips, which is so interesting. Um, you know, this whole new thing on the energy app really gives a lot of detail. So, you know, I think this will be interesting to see as we, you know, keep driving and keep doing more trips. So we're getting close to the supercharger. We're about 10 minutes away and we're doing great. So it held at 17% expected range upon arrival at the supercharger. Um, we've been doing great, nothing crazy on here. We kept the climate off, just been doing heated seats here and there. And it's pretty comfortable in the cabin. So I think that's a great tip for the winter. If it's not too cold and you wanna stretch your range, you know, just do the heated seat instead of the climate control, you know, maybe switch it on and off. Um, but yeah, so we're almost at the supercharger in Vermont and we'll show you guys what that supercharger looks like. We haven't been to that one before and we're almost there. So that one was charging kind of slow for V3. It was only like 500 miles an hour. So we're actually gonna go to the other side. This charging station has like 16 of these superchargers. So we're gonna go to the other bank of them just to try it out. I mean, to see maybe it's faster, maybe it's the same, but we'll find out. Okay, great. So this other side is charging way faster, way closer to the normal speed, you know, a thousand miles an hour that we expected a V3 supercharger. So I'm glad we switched to this side. Um, you know, it's gonna half our charging time. So we're gonna fill up here. That way we're good to go for the weekend. So we're supercharging right now and we always have a bike pump just in case. 
So we're just gonna top up these tires so that they can get, you know, one or two extra PSI. And we'll see if, uh, you know, the charging app, and we'll see if, you know, the energy app says anything about it. So we're done supercharging. We wanted to fill up as much as we could. Now we're at 86% and we're about 38 minutes from the hotel. So that should leave us plenty in case we have to drive around this weekend and it should be enough, you know, to hopefully get us most of the way back to Boston on the way home on Sunday. All right, so we're back on the road, but I wanna check something. Um, we pumped up the tires. So now they're all over 40 PSI. So now we got rid of that uh, low pressure warning. So now we're at 44, 43 PSI, which is great. And it's still pretty cold out. It's 36 degrees, but that thing went away on the energy app. So once we got into Southern Vermont, the ground started to have a little bit of snow on it. And we actually had to drive up this dirt road when we were getting closer to the hotel. So it was so interesting to see how the Tesla handled in this type of terrain. It honestly did fine. And I'm just so excited because this is our first wintry trip of the season. And I'm excited for lots more later this year. Let's go check into the hotel. It looks like a gorgeous property, so I'm so excited to explore. All right, so we just got here and we have 73%. And it looks like the hotel actually has a destination Tesla charger. Um, I didn't know they had one, um, so that's really good. We'll maybe charge there later. But this is the hotel, super cute and we are all set for the weekend. So we started by having lunch in the tavern at the Hermitage Inn, and we actually updated the car while we were enjoying lunch because we didn't have a lot going on, so we knew we wouldn't need the car for the afternoon. So I'm so glad we did that, and then we also got to have a really tasty lunch. I got a great fish sandwich, and we got a Reuben as well. So nice lunch to start off the weekend, and then later that night, we had a beautiful dinner in their fine dining restaurant. This is definitely a hotel for foodies, so definitely check it out if you're interested in that type of thing so it was really good so we're in vermont and it snowed about an inch and a half to two inches already so we'll see we don't have a scraper in the car so we'll see how much snow we get but anyway this is our hotel we're actually in the carriage house of the hotel it's super nice that's the main hotel up there So obviously we're in Vermont, so the interior temperature of the car was 30 degrees, so pretty chilly, but we had a solution. So we're going to go plug in, um, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to defrost the car so we can move it and then plug it into the Tesla charger. So it's pretty cool, you can have to turn it to auto, turn it to auto, steering wheel seating up. So hopefully it will be defrosted by the time we're done with breakfast. We'll go plug it in. And it was great. We got an alert when the car cabin temperature had hit our desired temperature, which was great. So we knew that hopefully the car would be defrosted by the time we went out to it after breakfast. So that sound is the Tesla defrosting itself. And you can see it really melting off everything from the windshield and just from the car in general, because it's heating up. So super convenient. It's only like 20 degrees out. So this is great for the winter time or when you're traveling, when you have to park your car outside. All right, so this is the new update. We'll go over this later, but this is actually pretty interesting because I want to try this um, because right now it's super cold out. And as you know, these door handles are electronic. 
So we didn't actually have time to test that out yet because the doors weren't frozen and we were always too close to the car with the key. So we didn't really need this feature, but I'm really excited about this for the rest of the winter. So after checking out the property, we went ahead and plugged in at the Tesla destination charger at the front of the hotel. So one of the great things about this hotel is that they actually have two EV chargers. They have a Tesla destination charger and a normal EV charger. So we're gonna plug the Model Y in and charge up a little bit. This was super helpful that they had a charger. It was a 48 amp charger, so honestly, pretty fast. So this was super helpful. One thing we wanna note is we're somewhat on a decline here. And when Tesla's in park, it doesn't always engage, well, it doesn't engage the parking brake. So sometimes Teslas have slipped in the snow. I really don't think this is gonna be a situation here, but what we've done is I've turned the wheel slightly to the right so that it won't roll down that way. And I've also engaged the parking brake which can be done by holding the end of the parking stock. And while we were filming this, a Rivian truck actually pulled up and plugged in next to us. Super cool to see this. It's crazy. We've been seeing more Rivians on the road and in parking lots and just kind of out in the wild. So really cool to see the EV ecosystem continue to grow. And again, really interesting to see the Rivian because it's an actual truck, which is a little bit different than, you know, what we have from Tesla and other EV manufacturers. Okay, so we're leaving the hotel right now. We're just a few minutes out. Um, so we actually used the defrost in the car. So we turned the car on about 30 minutes before we wanted to leave because the car was all snowy. And the great thing was the hotel had a charger. So we were actually able to plug it in while it was defrosting. So it used about 3% of energy, but it was able to charge back up. So it actually worked out great. And now we're just driving through Vermont. We're gonna go visit some friends on the way back, but they actually got some snow up here last night. One of the reasons we love road trips is we love enjoying the scenery along the way. And Vermont has to be one of the most beautiful places to drive through in New England, especially at the beginning of the winter when there's not too much snow on the roads, but there's just enough to make it look nice and picturesque. So here's the energy app and we're doing pretty well. You can see, you know, we used range from driving, climate, and elevation mostly. So doing great. So we stopped to supercharge once and it was great, nice and quick and easy. Honestly, the Tesla is so great for New England road trips, the range, you really only ever have to charge once on either direction. And we also put on our snow tires. So you have to check out our install video on those. We did that over this weekend as well. So go to that video below, I'll leave the link. It was awesome. We're actually loving these Michelin X ice snows really recommend them. They were super quiet when we were driving, you know, about an hour and a half back to Boston. So really good. Check out the video for more detail. Okay, so we charged up to 80% at the supercharger like we usually do in Charlton. And now we're at 64%. We're almost back in Boston. And that really wraps up our weekend. We had a great weekend in Vermont. It was really our first winter trip. And yeah, so follow along for more road trips this winter. We have a ton of fun stuff planned in Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire. So be sure to like this video and subscribe for lots more Tesla content. We have a ton of fun stuff planned this winter. So definitely check that out.